Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizon series. Uh, I got a whole lot of stuff running here. We got bending machines and lays and centrifuges, <laughs> all my stuff. And you can hear there is struggling a bit for steam. And uh, that is definitely because I am running way too much stuff for these... Uh, pipes to handle. As we can see, I'm siphoning it off uh, even uh, enough steam so this can't get enough. Uh, so I'm going to have to maybe slow down just a bit here. Um, the steam furnace is going to turn off in a second, so that'll help a little bit. And uh, this is almost done as well. But uh, the cool thing is, as we can see, um, I can actually... Ru I'm running three separate machines at uh, the same time off one basic little teeny steam turbine. And uh, as you can see, we're not even like losing that much power. Um, and that's because some of these recipes just don't require a lot of power. Uh, this one's eh, on the higher end. Lathe, what's this one? 16, that's only half a half an amp. And then our centrifuge. Not what I wanted. Uh, centrifuge. Yeah, that's only using five. That's. What is that? That's like one sixth of an amp. So. Yeah, there is that. But that's what the battery buffer lets you do um, with less power gen. Um, normally, this would output one amp. And I would have three machines competing over that one amp. But since I have it split into. Or this is outputting four amps, so it can run a lot more machines um, on less power gen. So that is why I am a fan of the batteries. Obviously, we're going to be upgrading this at some point. Um, I could, I could maybe upgrade the pipes to steel. One, two, three, four. I think I actually have just enough. Um, I don't know if I want to do that, though, to be honest. Um, I mean, I guess I might as well. I have it. For any reason... For any reason not to? Other than that <laughs> really annoying sound, which should sort itself out here in a second. I may need to hit it with a mallet to let it fill up a bit. It might be kind of in like a... Uh, positive feedback loop here. Um, it's trying to get started and it doesn't have just enough to kind of get it going and it fails. So, all right, yeah, so that is that. I'm gonna need a ton of steel, so that is the reason I am firing up all this charcoal. Um, I'm not gonna put all of that in there because I need quite a bit of iron as well so i'm probably gonna have to go um probably gonna have to go mine up some more iron which is really easy it's underneath this base actually um and now that i have now that i have ladders or an easier way to make ladders as opposed to this horrible way um it's uh i think i used iron screws i think is what i was using um, I can actually, uh, make a ladder as opposed to, you know, hopping down in a spiral, which is pretty horrible. All right. Um, what am I doing? I am talking and not doing stuff here. All right. Um, but we're working towards the blast furnace today. I think, uh, that is what I want to get up and running. And yeah, I think we'll do that today so kind of fun i keep forgetting that these do not auto connect anymore i can't remember if they did before but i'm not used to it there we go and there we go all right i need to get that going again because this is a very slow recipe 
as we know, the silicon dioxide with the green sapphire dust is getting us the alumino silicate wool. And I think we need 90. I can't remember how much we need to this. We need a absolute ton of it. I remember that. So I'm just going to have to let this kind of chug along. Um, one minor issue is I need quite a lot of Invar. So that is one issue that it's kind of holding up my Invar production, but I figure I could be doing other stuff and then the Invar will kind of be our last thing here. So this is for all the LV machine casings we're going to need. We're going to need seven for the seven hatches and buses and all that stuff. Um, I will say not really a fan of maintenance. I don't I don't really think it adds a lot to gameplay. And the auto hatches are dated so far. It's like IV, isn't it? Or LUV. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it just makes you kind of like run over every few days and smack it with something, uh, a tool. But uh, all right, so that's running. And let's see. I think, I think we're good there. Um, I needed a bunch of that stuff to make the buses. I'm also going to need wrought iron. So there is a heck of a lot that goes into crafting up the first blast furnace. Any of these kind of major milestones are pretty, pretty intensive, I have to say. And uh, I guess I could just get that nickel going as well. I don't know how much we're actually going to need. I haven't done the math on this, but uh, all right. So let me... Let me get going here and we will, I guess we'll come back when I get something. Yeah, when we get a little more, do I need all that? Yeah, the copper nickel for that as well. That's right. That's why I needed so much. And I may need to, do I need to go get more nickel? I might not have gotten i don't think i got enough nickel because i need a lot of nickel for iron so i need to go do that as well all right we'll be back and i am just chugging along here crafting everything up i figured i would Let's see i can just throw those all in there we need that we need that um i do need a one. Oh, also i want to check that out I will show that in a second. I think that was it. Actually, I need a one and a two. A one is a input bus and a two is an output bus. So another thing we will probably in the future get multiple assemblers that have different numbers in them too. Sometimes you can put them in the same machine and they won't conflict, but a lot of the time they actually do conflict with uh, each other. Like there may be, there might be a recipe that uses like, say for example, eight planks that makes a chest, but then if you put it in with a four, it does, you know, like something else, like a frame or something like that with four planks. So um, you got to be pretty careful when you do multiple things in uh, with that. Actually, I just had a thought. I need the input hatch. So that is input, like I said, is a one. I'm crafting that up at the moment. Also, I want to get these going. Uh, yes, obsidian glass. Obsidian glass with two rings gets you a tank. 
But do we have two rings? Ooh, I don't. I have some steel rods. I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any rods. But those are easy to make. Um, but I am just... As we can see, I'm just... I keep... Uh, putting these through the invar through the thing and then I keep smelting the dust and putting the ingots back through um it's quite a lot of work manual but uh we are saving our resources and boy is my inventory full I'm just smelting up some of my uh ores that I had I actually had a whole bunch of granitic mineral sand and that actually turns to iron uh, which is good, and I'm doing copper and tin. This is all copper and tin. Where am I? There. Um, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Because, boy, is my inventory full. I can't wait to get the extruder. Oh, is the ring... Rings are different, aren't they? No, it's just a file. All right, there we go. And that was... Like that? See, that's not going to clash. But sometimes it does. All right, so we need that, and we need an input. So there is the input, and we actually had... <laughs> that's kind of funny. I didn't plan that. I just happened to have the exact amount of refined glue, apparently. That's kind of funny, actually. All right, um, I'm gonna need those frames. So I'm gonna put this back to a four. I would probably rather have multiple circuits so I don't have to keep switching between them. But uh, yeah, all right. Uh, what I wanted to look at actually is this. In the quest book, it actually says you can or somewhere. I don't remember where I read it. I think it said on the, the tooltip. The very bottom uses an advanced tech tech structure check due to Bartworks. To see the structure, use a blueprint on the controller. So I actually kind of wanted to see does this show in in game what it looks like? It does. Alright, well that's really cool. I hate those textures though. <laughs> I absolutely hate those textures. Um, I do know what this looks like, but uh, I mean that it helps if you don't know uh, Greg Tech Machines. The problem is it doesn't really tell you that you can replace these. For example, we're going to do our hatches. I'll probably do... I usually do the... This is not where this is going, by the way. But I usually do the... How do I do this, actually? Output bus will go there. Input bus would go there. The fluids on the sides. Maintenance hatch at the back is kind of what I'm thinking. But I do have to figure out where the heck I want to put this. But I did want to see... How that works so that's actually pretty cool i did that is definitely new i believe um or that's all right i do need a maintenance hatch and i don't think this is gonna let me shift click this stuff in oh it did well that made it a lot nicer and i have no idea what just broke <laughs> i don't know what broke I guess I'll look at the thing. A saw. Alright, so I gotta craft up the saw, but there is the maintenance hatch. Alright, well, we're chugging along here. Um, I am crafting up. This is all the Cooper nickel for the coils, so we got that going. And still gonna have quite a while to go with that. Um, I also need to make a lot of invar. And... That is that. Muffler hatch. This is easy enough. I just need to craft a couple. Uh, motor. I think I have a 
I don't have a large... Is it a large bronze? I didn't... Regular. A oh, regular. Okay, I don't have that. Alright, so that's not difficult. The biggest issues is, one, the wires and these crazy... <clears throat> crazy things we do have one pump from uh before i updated when i was trying to i use the the tank to put stuff in but uh yeah all right well uh i guess let me go i th think i have a feeling quite a bit of time is actually gonna pass here um because i don't unless something comes up that i think is kind of cool um i don't ah that's right i need to get a do i want to do this it's either oil or something creosote well creosote's probably the easiest and i should actually get this running fill up with even more creosote i haven't been doing it because i've been doing the The, uh, the charcoal thing. Alright. So... Uh, distillery. Alright, I'm going to have to craft that up. Which I'm actually not looking forward to, because that probably needs a blaze. Wait. It doesn't need a blaze. Oh, that's nice. Does the brewing machine need a blaze? Yes, the brewing machine needs a blaze, and the brewing stand is actually locked behind Thongcraft. Um, so, distillery, I'm going to need that. Let me throw that. So, uh, there's another pump. Man, these pumps. And uh, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to make another... Another LV machine hole. Dang it. Oh, well. Um... And we need... I'm just trying to work out how many... We need two... Four. I need four circuits. Alright. Not, nothing... This is Nothing's like too scary here. Uh, just a lot of time processing lots of different things and lots of different machines. And it's actually really fun. Um... But I may have to AFK for a little bit. Just let this run. We are doing well on Steam. I mean, we got stuff running, and it's nighttime. And we still have... We're fine. And uh, we're good on water. We're just... Barely producing just... A couple millibuckets or milliliters more than we are actually using with eight. So, that's pretty cool. And that is in a 90% humidity biome so 90 percent humidity biome looks like it can support eight high pressure solars but uh, all right let me be back in a little while all right we are going to take a minor detour here nothing crazy let me just throw these in here to get those going um i don't think that will I can actually throw it back in there. I can't craft it up anyway. There's something there. Um, I'm going to craft up. And yeah. Oh, man. They're awful. All right. Well, there's the muffler hatch. Uh, let's do this. Now, usually I do this in the assembler as well. But we got stuff in there. And um, it's still eight plates to craft up the LV machine hole. So there is that. And yes, so we got two of those. And what we're gonna do is actually craft up a basic fluid extractor um, because the now that now that the coin quest has been nerfed, you can't get the those parts, which were pretty awesome. Uh, I. Oh, yes. I'll take those. They're very annoying to make. Um, as we know, uh, they're quite difficult. So I want to make these in the assembler because 
if you look at that, the ratio is just much, much better. It uses less resources and you get more. So there's almost like no reason not to use that recipe. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Um, but in order to use that, we are actually gonna need a fluid, um, a fluid extractor. Because if we saw that recipe, we need, not that, is it? It's one of these, molten red oil, right? yeah. So we need that molten red alloy, and thankfully it is one of the few recipes we can actually do in LV. If we look at the extractor recipe, most of the recipes, okay, well that's not, <laughs> I I don't want to go through like all of them, but like if we look at like iron ingot, you know, how about we do that? Uh, in a loot extractor, we're looking at MV. So most, almost all metals our MV in the fluid extractor, except for this. Uh, this, um, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? Red alloy. All right, so we're going to do that. Um, also, it is a pretty power intensive craft, I believe. Yes, 30. So it needs to be almost right next to this thing. It can be, this is going to get 31 amps. This is going to get 30. So it can only be one or two away from it. Uh, what did I just get there? I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't see what. Oh, probably these heat proof machine casings for this thing. Um, but I do actually have a plate. I don't remember where I got this from. But, uh. Yeah, we'll just throw that in there and then I can auto output it into there. Now, if you look, this actually is only 18. So I think that is, what is that? Is that eight? Let me do the math really quick. 144 divided by 18. Yeah, is eight. So we can do eight of those crafts. Uh, I'm not, I should probably do a whole bunch at once. I do have some steel. I have steel rods right there. Um, because we're gonna need a bunch anyway. So I need eight of those. Do I wanna do that though? That is a lot of steel. I do have more over here. I have one there. Have I oh, okay, so I have fifteen and fifteen over here. I could probably throw another 10 in here. The other side was... Coke. Uh, coal Coke. I got from a quest some coal Coke, so I just threw it in there to use it up. Uh, that's why... That's why the... The ash was different. Alright, so yeah, we'll do that. And then I think... We'll do, yeah, I'll do this, I think. But uh, yeah, everything is chugging along here. So let me cut here and we'll come back when we'll probably, I don't know, we'll come back. And really quick, we will go ahead and get these. For the distillery, that is for the energy hatches. I actually have those there too. All right, this is uh this is chugging along. I haven't, I don't even feel like I've been taking. This hasn't been that difficult actually. I feel like it was. I mean, I know it's because I know what I'm doing, but um, yeah, I remember this. Feeling much worse. All right. Um, obviously, this is going to be <laughs> rearranged once I get rid of these. But uh, in the meantime, uh, the distillery recipe is a another high tier or high power usage. So that's thirty, and uh, it does three seconds for eight millibuckets. So or eight well, liters in this case. So that's. 
a little um what is i need two oh, i actually need four of these don't i i need four lubricant things and we're getting what's the ratio one third under one third so i'm gonna need i'm gonna need like a lot <laughs> All right, I was like, I hope I didn't just lose those because sometimes that it's a bit funny with the, and that can only fit a thousand. Um, we could no, I can't because I, I used the. Have I used the pump? You know what? We're gonna borrow this. We're gonna borrow this, so I don't have to sit here and remember to do this. Now this. No, I think we'll be okay. I don't... I did forget to bring a screwdriver. I think... Our power gen is... We're actually... I can't believe how well it's kept up, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Have those solar panels been buffed? I feel like they're pretty strong. So import... There. Takes a second to figure itself out, and there we go. What did I say I needed? We got one in there, we got eight, so that's nine, 12, probably 13. Also, don't put those in there, sometimes they disappear. One, two, three, four, like that. Anyone know what causes that? Why do they disappear? <laughs> Alright, so 13 buckets. Uh, this is going to take a while. And we actually have a 4 right there. It was a 4, right? Yep. So, we'll just let that tick away. And there we go. There is the lubricant. Alright, so there is that. I got the heat proof machine casings. We got the muffler hatch crafted up. This is the last thing. We need the two or the four lubricant cells, and then I need to make these coils, which magnetic iron, and that is four wires. That's two. So. We are coming into the home stretch here, actually. So I need four of those. And what did I say? It's two each. There we go. All right, we'll come back. And really quick, while I'm waiting for the last thing to craft up here, I've gone ahead and replaced the alloy smelter with the high pressure. Uh, because it was really easy to craft up. Oh, where is it? Hi. There it is. Uh, yeah, just some wrought iron, one piece of steel, and I already had wrought iron plates. So, yeah, I just upgraded it really quick. So the recipe went from 120 seconds to 60 seconds. So just waiting for that to finish up. Also, I noticed um, we are using some more power. It started raining, which kind of messed up my uh, steam because the things weren't producing steam. Uh, but once it stopped, it, I, I paused this. Well, it's paused right now. Um, but when that's not running, uh, we're doing okay. But once that's running, um, since there is quite a lot going on here, we are actually using quite a bit more power or steam. So I'm actually going to replace some of these pipes because as we can see, I'm actually not getting all the steam out uh, from this last pipe. So I'm actually not quite, um, I'm wasting some steam here is what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna replace it with these Oten, which is just tin, tin, bronze and lead easy to make 
And thanks for putting that out. So we're just going to replace those. This is 1600. This is 3840. Over double. I keep forgetting they don't automatically connect. But, uh, yeah. Oh, does that not... Like, does that not show? Those pipes don't show that the shutter is actually closed. That's annoying. But, uh, all right, there we go. So it is... Just double check. Everything is emptying out. Yes. All right, everything is emptying out. The pipes are emptying out. So there we go. That is the full amount of power. I keep saying power. I mean steam that we are producing. Battery buffer is still full. And that's just kind of right on the edge. I'm going to turn off the distillery so I can just do a get a bit above a buffer and we'll come back. Yeah. So as we can see, we're already way over what we're using now that uh, I turned off the distillery. But having this thing run at full blast is definitely going to tear through this. But uh, all right, we'll be back. Okay, there is that. I've turned off the distillery, but uh, I noticed or realized as I was doing this that the one, there is a spider on my roof, which is kind of annoying. But uh, this, these, there's two types of fluid cells, and I have the wrong ones. It's probably not going to work in the recipe if I have the wrong one. I'm just going to switch them really quick. And we'll do that. Like that and you can just switch between the two universal is cool because you can put lower amounts in but yeah if you need to craft this up it's definitely gonna need to be the regular ones let me grab this back all right that should be Yes, there we go. There is the energy hatches. All right, uh, I do need to finish this up. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, the Cooper Nickel Coils actually need the Molten Tin, and that is actually one of the recipes that is LV. I actually, <laughs> I actually didn't realize that. I didn't notice the tin there when I said I needed the extractor for the vacuum tubes, but that kind of worked out. Uh, so that kind of, that was funny, but, uh, yeah, so we'll get all this. And I think I have everything. I think I have the right amount. Would suck if I don't though. Um, unfortunately don't have enough time today, so I am just going to make sure I got this correctly. Um, I want to make sure it forms and then next episode we'll come back. We'll get it set up and then we can see it in action. So that. That's now if you are used to Greg Tech Community Edition, there are a couple things on here that are a bit different. One is the muffler hatch that has to go on top. And it has to have a empty space above it. If it doesn't, um, it won't work. That's just something to keep in mind. Those were relatively quick. And is it going to form? There it goes. We <laughs> It formed. All right. Cool. We got our uh, electric blast furnace. I think I did that. I think I got it like... I don't know, 10 episodes faster than I did the first time. Um, definitely helps that I know what I'm doing, though. And uh, that actually wasn't that bad. Um, obviously, the energy hatches are the most annoying parts with the, the pumps. It's these dang pumps. They're just, I don't know what it is about them. They're just annoying to make. Um, especially, I can't do easy screws yet. It'll get easier with an extruder. Um, cause we can just do five ingots and get a rotor, but right now 
Uh, yeah. But uh, there is the blast furnace. So next episode, we'll come back. I've got to figure out where I want to put it. And uh, we'll get it running. And we'll check out the maintenance hatch as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.